Welcome to the George Washington University Commencement Celebrations 2021. One generation to the next. With pride and purpose. Celebrating 200 years of only at GW moments. In a time like no other, communities have come together, made a difference, faced adversity with perseverance and resilience. All moments that defined us and a generation. The Graduate School of Education and Human Development congratulates our graduates for their accomplishments, innovations, discoveries, and success. Raise high. And now, the 2021 commencement celebration for the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. It is my great pleasure to open the Graduate School of Education and Human Development's 2021 commencement celebration. As a proud alumnus of GSHED, I have greeted graduates and their families at the annual celebrations for many years. While we are unable to come together in person this year, I am honored to recognize your great accomplishments and also to welcome you to the George Washington University alumni community. I congratulate you today and look forward to the impact each of you will make in the years to come. And now I am pleased to introduce the Dean of the Graduate School of Education and Human Development, Michael Foyer. Hello, GSHED graduates, and a big welcome to you, your families, friends, and fellow alumni, as we salute your accomplishments and wish you continued success in your professional journeys. Some of you may remember that last year at this time, we were about two months into the pandemic and were hoping it would be our first and only virtual commencement. Well, we came close but I'm sorry to say the health situation prevents us this year again from being together the old fashioned way. When I say we came close, that has a more cheery side. We have proven to be an incredibly close community. We spent the past 15 months watching our physical distance, but we didn't let that get in the way of our social togetherness. I wanna thank you all students, faculty, staff, alumni, and our many GSHED friends for individually and collectively proving a degree of resilience that is literally off the charts. We migrated to emergency online teaching and learning. We became quasi experts at meeting virtually. We found one another for work and also for happy hours. We published research and interacted with colleagues all around the world. And above all, we kept our hopes on the future while enduring a most challenging present. The concurrent pandemics, COVID, resurgent racial violence, economic disruption, made 2020 a year we will never forget. For most of us, the top priority was to recover whether for ourselves as students and faculty, for our children and loved ones whose lives were turned upside down and inside out, or for our distant relatives and friends whom we could only visualize or connect with by the miracles of modern digital science. I think it's fair to say we have all been wishing and praying for return to something normal. And thanks to the amazing work of our GW medical and health teams, and of course, in hopes of continued progress with vaccinations nationwide and worldwide, we do expect to be back on campus to the fullest extent possible this fall. Fingers crossed. Meanwhile, though, there's a third R after resilience and recovery, and that stands for reimagination. As educators, we have a profound understanding that going back to the pre-pandemic status quo would be to miss an opportunity to rethink, to revise, to reform, 
pick your favorite metaphor, and to work together to make our world a better, safer, more democratic, more secure place. That's where you come in. As GSHED graduates, you value research and factual evidence. You know that learning and knowledge are public goods. You are committed to community engagement. You have been inspired to become adaptive leaders. You are dedicated to closing opportunity gaps that gnaw at our very core. And you embrace colleagues whose diversity of language and origin and religion and race and gender are what makes this country and our university truly great. Take those skills and dispositions forward now and in true G-Shed spirit, continue to make a difference. Before you go, let me add another sentence, an example of wild understatement, to praise your incredible faculty and staff. <clears throat> Two years ago, our beloved Washington Nationals won the World Series. Today, I think you'll agree that your G-Shed family are world champions. They have been your champions. I'll pause for a moment so that everyone watching can imagine and maybe even feel the applauding and cheering. I know the path ahead is uncertain. Some people will dig in their heels and stick to wobbly old theories, cast blame and scapegoat the innocent, close their minds to fresh ideas, perpetuate conspiracy theories and hateful rhetoric, keep strangers out, degrade our physical environment, and stifle our creative capacities for human progress. But others will rededicate themselves to collective engagement, to a respect for government, to inspired leadership, to teaching and learning, to a love of science, to the protection of our beautiful planet and its diverse animal kingdom, and to the advancement of human welfare. Based on what I know about you, it seems pretty clear to me what path you will take. As your dean and optimist in chief, I join you in our common dream of repairing this fragile world. Congratulations, warmest best wishes to you and your loved ones. Stay safe. Let's hope to be together, really, next year. And now I have the great honor and pleasure to introduce this year's G-Shed commencement celebration speaker, Dr. Vicki Brown. Vicki received her doctorate in educational leadership from G-Shed in 2015. She is the chief learning officer and executive director in the U.S. Department of the Interior's Office of Strategic Employee and Organization Development. In this role, she is responsible for policy and learning programs for over 70,000 employees. She also serves as a key advisor and consultant to the department leadership on the full spectrum of issues, initiatives, and policies related to training and leadership development programs. I am delighted to introduce Dr. Vicki Brown. Thank you, Dean Fourier, for this opportunity to speak to the George Washington University Graduate School of Education and Human Development graduates, faculty, staff, family members, and friends. Dear graduates, it is a great honor to speak with you today, and it is a great responsibility. Ideally, I should share with you some wisdom that you will remember for a while and that you may share with your grandchildren 30 or 40 years from now. To that end, I hope what I share conveys the truth of my journey of change, challenge, and commitment, which has led me here today. First, today is a day of great celebration, a celebration for you, your family, friends, faculty, and staff. I know what was required to get to this point, and it is an important achievement to which I commend you. Those personal competencies you exhibited over the years, they got you here, passion, commitment, tenacity, 
open-mindedness, grit and drive will continue to be vital throughout your lives. Nurture them. They will be as important as what you have learned throughout your studies. And like all of us, you endured through a pandemic of historical proportion that rearranged your normal, changed your lives in ways you could never have expected, and perhaps even changed your future trajectory. Without a doubt, it was a transformative learning experience under the most extraordinary circumstances. Today, as you commemorate your individual and collective academic achievements, it is this moment in time when all those sleepless nights, random breakdowns and breakthroughs become worth it. Can you feel it? The excitement in the air, the excitement tinged with exhaustion, apprehension, anticipation, and accomplishment like a complex operating system in overload. An emotional reckoning that you did it, you are finally here. The Graduate School of Education and Human Development is committed to research, academic programs, and initiatives of global importance in the field of education. And so to that end, let me take a moment to draw upon the wisdom of Nelson Mandela, who said, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. For me, the difference we have made to the lives of others, to our families, to our friends, to strangers, we have met defines who we are. And it is not just what we know or who we know or how much money we make. It is what others feel about our contributions to the world, to others that matters most. As a little girl growing up poor without the riches and privileges offered to so many others, I could never have dreamed of making a difference in the lives of others. There were always others smarter than me, more connected than me, more everything than me. But my mother, who at the time did not have a high school education, didn't see it that way. She instilled in me that with a good education, I could be whomever I wanted to be, and I could give back to others that which I was not able to get when I needed it. Little did I know that my mother in her infinite wisdom had a vision of who I might one day be, a vision that I could not see for myself. She may not have been educated in the formal sense like you and I, but she was wise beyond comparison. And as I matured and experienced life outside my small hometown, I realized that my mother was right. I had and have much to offer others that will enrich their lives and in turn, enrich my own. During my journey, as I became more accomplished, more credentialed with my bachelor's degree, my first master's degree, and then my second, I matured and developed my own sense of self and life philosophy. A particular set of qualities that makes me distinctive from my colleagues, just as you will need to do. I am not sure if this was by design, by accident, or by divine intervention, but I no longer question the outcome. Times were changing and I needed to get in front of that change. And there was always my mother's sweet voice as my guide, urging me to do more. Vicki, you must get a good education. It will make a difference in your life so you can make a difference in the lives of others. So I found a home at the Graduate School of Education and Development, truly not knowing where the journey would take me, but knowing it was going to be one of the most important journeys in my life. 
There's an old saying, be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. At the end of my doctoral journey, as I reflected on the years of study, reading, writing, group work, independent work, oral presentations with my besties and my dissertation defense, I was struck by how much I had grown academically, professionally, and personally. And as soon as you step away from this moment, you will have remarkably similar thoughts. To add perspective for your supporters on the changes you endured, the challenges you faced, and the commitments you upheld during your academic journey, I offer the following. One, I am sure you approached this journey with much consternation. You had to weave it into your already complex lives, not knowing fully how the journey would end. You had to engage yourselves, direct yourselves, and identify that which you were yearning, knowledge, wisdom, truth, with no roadmap, just a few great guides and scholars along the way. Two, more and more you learned to lean on and learn from your fellow students, agents of your own with agency for all. Three, throughout your journey, the hours, days, and weeks were long. There were many potholes to navigate and bridges to build along the way. You ran over landmines, stopped to explore other routes. Four, you acquired experience, knowledge, and skills that you will now display to the world to show that you have changed. A change in behavior, a change in thought, a change in actions and deed. Often you had to let go of old ideas that had shaped you and strengthened you to assimilate the new. That was tough, but it is a true path to grow. So, as you graduate today, you should feel happy, relieved, rejoiced, full of hope, ready to celebrate, and I hope make a difference in the lives of others. Wow, what a journey for you. As you have witnessed over the last several years, a change is upon us, and it is accelerating. As learned professionals, I urge you to get ahead of it, first in your minds, then in your practice, and finally in your lives and the lives of others. I hope at the end of the day, that is what matters most to you, what you have to offer to enrich the lives of others and in turn to be enriched by them. Remember, that it is the difference you make in the lives of others that most people will remember. The world you inherit is beset with great challenges. COVID-19 has, at a minimum, re-exposed vast societal inequalities. And as GSHED graduates, you have the greatest opportunity in generations to make a difference and commit to examining the world through a critical lens and try to understand the implications of the continual perpetuation of social, educational, and racial inequalities and their tremendous impact on others. And further, commit to advancing positive change in making this world a better place and to be an inspiration for American democracy. In closing, as you celebrate your well-earned successes today, I challenge you to live fulfilling lives in this new emerging world and to become an architect of the future. To do so, you will need to know yourselves and you will need to be prepared to reinvent yourselves throughout your lives. I wish I could tell you I know the path forward. I don't. There is so much uncertainty. In truth, there always has been. What I do know is that the same values, fortitude and determination, the same guts and grit and imagination that got you to this moment 
All those things are the very things that will sustain you through whatever is coming. Find your purpose and take what you have learned to shape a new world and be committed to use it to create more equity, more justice, and more joy in the world. We're all depending on you. My best wishes are with you and your loved ones. Congratulations. Thank you, Vicki. And now I am thrilled to introduce our student speaker, Wendy Pintado. Wendy is graduating with a master's degree in higher education administration, which she plans to use in furthering her work around access and equality in education. It is with great pleasure that I invite Wendy to address the graduating class of 2021. Hello, class of 2021. My name is Wendy Pintado, and I am a graduate student in the Higher Education Administration program. We are all here today to celebrate a huge milestone in our lives. We are graduating from the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. It's been a long and difficult journey. For one, we have been in school in the midst of a global pandemic, meaning we have had to deal with so much uncertainty. We have had to cope with unexpected losses, struggle with financial burdens, and deal with the effects of social distancing and virtual learning. On top of this, some of us have had to grapple with working a full-time job while also taking on a full course load. Others have had to manage graduate school online in addition to their familial responsibilities. Overall, we've all had our own personal battles to handle. Despite every obstacle that the world has thrown at us, we did not give up. We kept trying no matter how many times we got stuck or failed. Today serves as a defining moment that proves that we have grown and are now more resilient than ever. Throughout our time at the George Washington University, we each had different motivations that drive us, but what all graduates share as a motivating force is our passion for education. Education is so valuable, and if you didn't believe that it was important, you wouldn't be here today. When you ask someone what education means to them, you will get a variety of answers. Education is transformative. It can be used to change careers, advance professionally, lead a cause, increase your overall earnings, or gain more knowledge and connections in a field. Whatever that reason may have been, it has guided each and every one of us to the finish line today. For me, growing up, I always lived in survival mode, and it was my education that made me optimistic about my future. I saw education as the only way to obtain a better quality of life for myself and my family, and as a way to help others who face similar or different struggles to mine. We have all made sacrifices that were necessary to prevail, and I want us to take the time to feel proud for what we have accomplished. For some of us, we have had the privilege to have supporters throughout our journey, pushing us whenever we felt unmotivated, down, or defeated. For others, we have had people telling us that we couldn't do it. We have had circumstances that have tested our wits, power, and capability to succeed. And there have been other times in which we ourselves have served as our biggest critics, being the voice in our head that told us that we don't belong or that we don't deserve to be here but we are meant to be here. We are meant to be here because we all bring something unique to the table. We are here because we are persistent, dedicated, and determined to change the world through education. This experience has brought us so much more than just another degree. This experience has made us more empathetic on issues others face on an everyday basis. This experience has challenged us to think of how we would implement solutions in our future or current positions. This program has introduced us to faculty, staff, and students who have strengthened our current values and beliefs or encouraged us to consider other perspectives. During our time at the Graduate School of Education and Human Development, we have gained so much knowledge. And having knowledge is what makes us influential, confident, mindful, and ultimately capable of anything we set our minds to. Education has molded us to be leaders that will inspire others to follow. I hope that as we embark on new journeys, that we will continue to find ways to strengthen ourselves as members of society, support communities in need, 
and serve as role models for the next generation. Our success is a testament to our fortitude and lifelong commitment to learning. Education can, has, and will continue to change lives. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Please join me now as we recognize our degree candidates from the Departments of Counseling and Human Development, Curriculum and Pedagogy, Educational Leadership, Human and Organizational Learning, and Special Education and Disability Studies. The class of 2021 includes our first class of PhD in Education graduates. In addition to graduates receiving the degrees of Doctor of Education, Doctor of Philosophy, Education Specialist, and Masters, my congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Angelica Jones. Nof S. Bazas. Olivia V. Bentley. Mark C. Covington. Jennifer Tan Trang Ha. Jennifer Elizabeth Kaufman Walker. Chels R. Malone. Shari Matre. Jenny Christine Whitlock. Elise Brow. Ian Walker Crow. Shuya Dai. Amy L. Forney. Brian Dominique Gaines. Caitlin Ashley Gilchrist. Tulene K. Hajun. Julie W. Heflin. Jessica Dina Maharaj. Catherine M. Mancini. Gregory Richard Mitchell. Izet Nagusi. Emma Lynn Rady. Elizabeth Ray. Haley Sayeg. Tatiana Simone Suarez. Lakin Elizabeth Thomas. Harley Bryce Williams. Emily Hancock Barksdale. Brian Kirk Doolam. Nicole Brittany Fox. Carol Walker Kalinowski. Rachel Kapila. Malgarzada Maria Malechko. Amber R. Murphy. Kadumbari Narendran. Nathan Allen Roberts. Amber Nicole Robinson. Valia Shoja. Brittany Silver. Alex Perry Spangler. Adrian Michelle Cooper. Jennifer Fernandez. Ada Dili Gao. Taylor Douglas Holmes. Courtney DeRees James. Sarah N. Keen. Rachel Carolyn Kerr. Nicholas Charles Lalone. Erin Margaret Monahan. Jennifer Nakbar, Kareen Pardalo, 
Mahogany Nicole Persip, Leah Sholem, Jenna E. Shoemaker, Deborah Siegel, Kubra Unver, Alicia M. Bittler, Evan M. Crum, Courtney B. Harrington, Roberta M. King, Kristen M. McInerney, Eptisum M. Oroby, Kimberly J. Sloan, Rachel L. Talbert, Samuel Wyatt Burmester, Erica Jane Collins, Adele Lee Cornwall, Joseph William Kritz, Amanda Lee D'Angelo, Carolyn Ann Fairclough, Ben Faulkner, Emily Conrad, Wei Ting Chu, Si Yu Shen, Jin Tao, Lashana Kawana Thomas, Claire Van Shaik. Amanda M. Venable, Corey Yamakita, Mimi Jo, Max Barry Adamo, Perry Oflaki, Britta Weber Buchanan, Taya Nikolai Martin. Neha Goyal, Allison Nicole Grossman, Abby Page Hagen, Anita Jackson, Kristen Emily Korb, Olivia Rose Mans, Gregory John Parsigian Jr. Adrian Marie Sethi, Nephi Snyder, Rachel A. Bussell, Isabella Adriana Briones, Christopher M. Brownlow, Ashley E. Hansen, Ming Ming Hao. Skylar Hunt, Claire Lubovich, Xia Ying Li, Christian McMillian, Martin Kofi Okoebeg, Carl Lee Peterson, Aaron M. Purcell. Natalie Ann Plotkin, Lauren Ashley Seibert, Mary Grace Shears, Dejia Sun, Rachel Leone Todd, Kara Tremel. Mia Wallace, Mara D. White, Kathleen Whitmire, Jianni Wu,
Graham Patrick Coyle. Charlene L. Evan Smith. Adrian D. Freed. Carlos E. Gomez Montes. Jarcelyn M. Hart. Erica P. Heflin. Roderick Hobbs. Charles Brian Jenkins. Donna M. Canari. Kimberly S. Payne. Mark C. Reckmeyer. Tabitha L. Reeves. Brittany Rogers. Carol A. Sample. Clay R. Scott. Camille A. Close. Patrick G. Corr. Jennifer Helen Donahue. Chuai Gao. Kimberly Shante Moorhead. Candace Morgan. Matthew D. Myers. Nancy Stalowski. Kristen Nicole Wong. Andy C. Wu. Sarah Ray Young. Susan Hunter Benante. William Cunha. Ryan Dumara Daniels. Sierra Fisher. Sarah Beth Fitzgerald. Brittany Elizabeth Fraunfelter. Michelle L. Jackson. James Allen Middleditch. Christopher Leon Mosley. John Kunyanjui Moongai. Joy Chantel Newman. Lynn Monique Phillips. Anjali Saini. Fatima Tour. Allah El Zion. Min Shu, Delaney Jane Boyd, Tran Fong Lei, Trinity Catherine Maddock, Farnell E. Maxime, Brenna Mullane Morgan, Julia Marie Moscone. William Patrick Roast. Ariana Nicole Allen. Amanda Baram. Rachel Baranu Becco. Dory Ann Boyce. Alexandria Caputo. Keisha Trenel Christian. Stephanie Clark. Jackie O'Durham. Matthew Jansen. Jade Alicia Johnson. Alexandra Krakor. Justin David McIntosh. 
Laura Parker. Armin Rashad Peterson. Megan Robinson. Ashley W. Stone. Rebecca Sidney Waldman. Barrett Younghans. Jonathan Zwizzler. David Gabriel Etliger Chotin. Maricel Carino de Mons. Jennifer Marie Dewan. Catherine Fitzgerald. Brian Gabrielson. Dionysios Gressis. Melissa Marie Hermosillo. Daphne L. Isom. Haley Mendelson. Susan Mondano. Tiffany Moy. Maya Ahmed Othman. Din Bomadi Akinyami Komija. Avi Gordon. Joanna Elise Lieberman. Christina Lynn Malka. Rachel Fay Levin C. Nathaniel Strauss. Orshimer. Emily Brooke Yehesko. Teji O. Blackman. Jessica Casas Reyes. Erica Lynn Dreyer. Farah Farid. Morgan Harper. Christopher Deontay Hooten. Jansen Dale Keeger. Marissa Townsend. Jessica Hannah Watson. Leah Kierens Booker. Binny Divakar Chokshi. Naomi Jane Lesnuski. Shannon Morgan Mitchell. Jennifer Owens. Brittany Porter. Emily Wilner. Amir Namin Garfield Bailey III. Alexis K. Bivens. Allison E. Briski. Julia Molita Brunner. Courtney Nicole Cox. Alexandra M. Croteau. Paromita D. Gina DeSantis. William D. Etheridge III. Anita S. Farsad. Michelle Indy Florio. Brian Devon Frederick. Kyle D. Hall. Rujars Hansa Pyramcock. Catherine Hugens.
Laura Landau. Pasulcia Leo. Ilda Saladad Martinez. Isadora Lucia Martinez. Rorick J. McCorriston. Egbert Warner Ospina. Austin Timothy Shock. Daniel C. Slowly. Laura Rebecca Tucker. Nodira Yurasbeva. Shu Wen Wang. Jeremy Wood. Jordan Wright. Jonathan Francis Rodriguez. Martha Lucia Acosta. Abdurrahman H. Alanzi. Sharon Lee Berry Beery. Donald E. Davis. Lois E. De Natale. Connie Whitaker Dunlop. Stephanie K. Irwin. Anne Gabrick. Shalace Lanise Gregg. Teresa K. Hollingsworth. Kurt E. John. James P. McGinnis. John George Meyer III. Deborah Denise Morgan. Tina K. O. Rodriguez. Alicia D. Williams. Sherry L. Teague. Lukman Adeniyi. Braden I. Antonio. Kimberly Monique Baker. Amber Barrett. Brooke Ann Bedingfield. Jessica Bonacquisti. Christopher Borsier. Daniel Martin Bredesen. Chalina D. Brodnax. Sarah Birnbaum. Luther Troy Carson Jr. Albani Brianna Childs. Louis Victor Shaporis. Lessa R. Crawford. Monica Burke Dishong. William Hurston Doriety II. Angelica Eka. Ryan G. Esco. Gregory K. Holmes. Samuel Taylor Horowitz. 
Kevin Mark Horvath. Jana Carol Hubbard. Alexis Renee Jackson. Janelle A. Jones. Peyton Nicole Kirby. Catherine Marie Kramer. Patsea Kuyowatana. June Lindsay. Nicholas Maxiayan. Catherine Sutton Meath. Stephanie N. Mendelson. William W. File. William Heavy Poston. Chanel and Rodney Spencer. Manuela Rodriguez Correa. Candace M. Russell. Sania Lee Santiago Borrego. Janard T. Smith. Mariah Corin Smith. Sarah C. Smith. Jessica Caitlin Sneed. Shannon Kathleen Stearman. Christina Elise Tinker. Catherine Armenta Todd. Caitlin E. Wildman. Monica Arce Whitlock. Paige K. Bradford. Nicole P. Farrow. Monira Isan Fontaine. Susan R. Jaffe. Shakira Burrell. Laura Marie Chovable. Nolan Ryan Day. Beatrice de Magaba. Stephanie Ewens Navarro. Laura Margaret Sheedy. Monica Eisenberg. Ryan Baldwin. Catherine Mary Barnhart. Ellen Rita Colston. Leticia Barnes Foster. Nora Beth Garcia. Kimberly Francis Hinkey. Brianna Lee Jones. Kay Cleaver. Christina Ann Lewis. Cassidy Marie Love. Astrid Yvonne Luna. Elizabeth O'Connell. Devin Cody O'Connor. Deborah Salome Philpotts. Chelsea Simpson. Haley Stump Watson. Angela Hart. Sharon Zioni. 
Katura J. Argentum, Emma Bailey, Austin G. Bieber, Brittany Denise Branch, Condria Devine, Tashira S. Freeman, Yomira Gomez, Mara Catherine Ingram, Tiombe Ashante Johnson, Monica Nicole Peltzer, Madeline Alexandra Proctor, Joanna Sarantapoulos, Ayana Joy Vernon, Hepa H. Usmar, Anne Marie Casal, Mary Page David, Michael Donovan Fleming II, Veronica Lynn Geiger Durso, Aaron Grief, Emily Michelle Griffiths, Elena Constantine, Melissa Lorraine Landis, Danielle R. Langowski, Brittany Rosser Lyons, Danielle Alejandro Mendoza, Margaret Nice, Lauren N. Nikoski, Virginia P. O'Rourke, Faconeri Perez, Sarah Elizabeth Pistioniak, Erin Rainey, Emily A. Repenning, Aileen Rose Santiago, Megan Sharmi Shama, Catherine E. Smith, Christina Thomas, Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations, GWG Shed, class of 2021. To the 2021 graduates of the Experiential Jewish Education and Israel Education programs in the Graduate School of Education and Human Development, Mazel Tov, onward and upward, raise high. Congratulations, Museum Education Program Class of 2021. We know you will make decisions consciously and conscientiously to make the world a better place. Congratulations! IEP! Graduates! We are so proud of all the hard work that you put into completing this huge accomplishment. Raise the hippo high. Yay! I'm Dr. McGuire Kuletz, and I want to wish our Rehabilitation Counseling graduates for 2021 and all other GW graduates all the best as they move on past GW and into the future. Great job. I'm Dr. Rob Froelich. Graduates, job well done. It's been a pleasure working with you. Remember, you're part of the GW family, so please keep in touch and let us know how you're doing. Hello, graduates. I am so happy to be sharing these moments with you. I'm an alum of uh, GW and I also am a professor and it is an amazing experience being part of the GW community. Uh, remember, reach for the stars, set high aspirations, support others and change the world. It's up to you. This is Dr. Scully Russ wishing all GSHED graduates a hearty congratulations on your great accomplishment. 
I'm particularly proud of our ELP, HOL, and OLL graduates. We can't wait to see what you go on to do next. Congratulations and enjoy your celebration. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I am so proud of your resiliency and adaptability throughout this year. You will go on to do amazing things. I am so proud. Um, have a great celebration and I hope to see you in person soon. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks for a great year. Congratulations, G Shed, HOL graduates. Hashtag you're done. Good work. Hope you have a wonderful celebration. Congratulations, She Shed Class of 2021. So impressed by all of you. Not only did you all complete a graduate program, but you did so during a global pandemic. We're super proud. We cannot wait to see what you do next. Raise high. Congratulations, Class of 2021. I wish you the very best as you move into this next chapter of your lives. So be bold, be courageous, and be your very best. Cheers to you all. Congratulations, Museum Education Program Class of 2021. Go forth as change agents for social justice. Cheers. Congratulations to my fellow graduating class of 2021. We did it, you guys, in the midst of all the drama, all the craziness and the pandemic. We made it, we're here. We finished our course of study. Shout out to those of us who took a little bit longer to finish than others, but we're here and we did it. Congratulations to you all. Mwah. Congratulations to all of the GW graduates, especially those in the Graduate School of Education and Human Development and the Educational Technology Leadership Master's Program. Congratulations, Ed School graduates. You did it. Congratulations, Class of 2021. In a year that none of us could have anticipated, you did it. We are so proud of you. Congrats, HOL grads. You did it. Well, hello, this is Scott Beveridge from the Department of Counseling. Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations to all the rehabilitation counseling, clinical mental health, school counseling, and PhD candidates that are graduating this year. It's a monumental occasion. Uh, we are very, very proud of you and wish you the best in your future endeavors. If you ever need anything in the future, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'll be most happy to help you in any way, shape, or form. Thanks, and again, congratulations. Bye-bye. Dear students, hereby congratulating those from the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. We're really proud of you and thank you for your hard work and your dedication. It's been great having you in our program. Be well. To all our wonderful counseling and human development graduates, congratulations on reaching this milestone event. On behalf of the department faculty and staff, we wish you the very best day today and going forward into the future. Yay you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. And not only did you do it, you did it during a pandemic. You should be so proud of everything that you have accomplished. And I'm so excited to see everything that you do in the professional world. So congrats again. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations to all of the ACAPsers out there. And thank you so much, Dr. Shepard, Dr. Ali, Dr. Case Moore, and Dr. McCarty for making today possible. Thank you, Maya, Dee, and Dad. Thanks, Cohort 16. Congrats. Congratulations to the graduates from the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. This has been a wild year, but you made it through, and we are proud of you. Raise high. Hi, class of 2021, congratulations. I hope you take a moment to appreciate how awesome and wonderful you are. Great job. Congratulations, class of 2021. The Educational Leadership and Administration Program is so proud of all of you, particularly all of our grads from our program. Enjoy, celebrate, hooray. Congratulations, graduates of the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. Myself and our members of our Office of Student Life are so proud of your contributions. Congrats! Congratulations, Class of 2021! Woo! -hoo!